Hey folks, welcome to another video. The folks at Vitcher have come out with a new accessory for pre-order today, and I wanted to share some news about it. This one I'm wearing right here is the Vitcher neckband, and it was unfortunately my least favorite of the accessories that came with the Vitcher 1 series. Vitcher have now announced for pre-order a neckband that solves all of the issues that I had with this previous accessory. So let's jump in. So this is the new website for the Vitcher Pro neckband that just launched just a moment ago. And it says it's a sleek design and trusted like a true friend. Providing ultra freedom for gaming and streaming. And here's where it starts to get good. All the level ups that you've been waiting for. And it says it's much more powerful with seven times the CPU power, 40 times the GPU power, and six times the RAM. No noise, no heat. 50% more battery life and 20% lighter. And that's all compared to the Vitra 1 neckband. And I want to dive deeper into what that actually means. The Vitra 1 neckband had 2 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage space. The Pro neckband has up to 12 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage in the top end model. Uh, there is a lesser model that's available that is 8 gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage, but that's still substantially more memory than the original. Noise was a huge factor with the original neckband. Uh, there was fan noise even in the quietest mode. They've added like more quiet and even more quiet modes, and it still had noise, and it had a lot of heat kind of around your neck, which is not something that you want. So the folks at Vitra have promised that this device has no noise and no heat with better heat dissipation. 50% battery life is indicating that they're going to get around four hours of battery on average, whereas the original, depending on what you're doing, you get about two to two and a half hours. So that four plus hours is indeed 50% plus battery life. And all that in a package that's 20% lighter, I'm already kind of sold, but there's more. The Vitra Pro neckband does hand gestures. So when you plug into a set of Vitra glasses, it looks like there's going to be several different gestures that should be familiar, particularly if you use something like an Apple Vision Pro, and they'll be picked up by a camera on the front of the neckband. So you've got a hover command there that'll hover on the picture. You've got a move cursor command here. You've got a resize screen pinch and move gesture, and then a scroll down, which is just a pinch and pull down. So, like I said, if you're used to things like the Apple Vision Pro, that's gonna give you similar gesture controls. One of my biggest criticisms with the original neckband was the fact that in order to use Google Play services, you had to sideload them using a program called TV Bro and get these weird G apps packages and it just felt shady. Vitcher with the Pro neckband have full Google certification. So you've got access to Google Play directly on the device, which I believe this may be one of the first devices that does not have a screen that has full Google Play certification. So that's quite an achievement. Now, I don't know exactly what multiple screen supported means, but it looks like in this particular example, you've got PX Play in the middle, the system menu on the side here, and then Gmail on the other side. So three screens, but Gmail might just be a web app. The menu structure might just be on the side. So it may be one main media screen and then web apps around it. I'm not certain. Uh, if we keep scrolling here, now we've got like a YouTube playlist in one window and then the YouTube video playing in the background in the other. So the previous Vitro neckband did support ambient mode. What that is is just a little window in the corner of your eye and you could set that to one of the four quadrants of your eyes uh, so that you have just one little window as you're walking around or doing things, which is pretty cool. Like if you want to continue watching media as you're traveling and like moving between the 
two pieces of commuter transit, for example, like if you're going between the bus and the train or something of that nature, you can still have that little window and still be focused on the world around you. Uh, you've also got three off mode where you've got the screen in a fixed space and turn like that and smooth follow mode where as you're turning, the screen follows your eyes and your head as you move. Now in the very bottom corner of this screen is an important message that you may miss says six off or six degrees of freedom, which would mean taking that screen and putting it into a fixed space and being able to walk around it is coming and it will be enabled combined with our next gen glasses. So I'm assuming that the Vitra Pro are not those next gen glasses, so stay tuned. I'm not sure what exactly they're hinting at there. And then this is just a little animated sequence here. Nothing beats the experience of the Vitra Pro glasses and Pro neckband. So some pretty cool advancements. The original neckband had this like weird controller embedded into the arm, whereas the new Pro neckband is gonna have elegance with using hands for gesture tracking. Uh, there is a remote app available on your phone, so that makes it a little bit easier. And Vitra also came out with a controller itself that you could use with the original neckband. So the control scheme isn't as big of a deal as some of the other things to me. Having actual Google Play is a huge deal to me. Having the ability to do three off stably is a big deal to me. And more important than anything else, really, is quieting down that fan noise, getting rid of that heat. Because you can't use the thing for more than a few minutes without wanting to throw it across the room right now with the original neckband just because of how loud this thing gets overall though there's a bunch of features there that i'm excited for there's also something i didn't touch on a bunch of ai enabled features so you'll be able to ask their wizard ai questions not just related to games the, the current wizard that's available in the original neckband is tailored toward games. So you can ask like, how long might it take to finish this boss fight? And it'll give you an estimated answer based on the game that you're playing, things of that nature. Uh, but now you can ask about recipes. You can ask about different things similar to other smart glasses. Uh, so it's making it a smarter application in a two-in-one system. I don't have any of the specs around the processor. I don't have any of the specs around any of the other components in this device but having 256 gigabytes in the high-end model is a big deal especially if you're traveling you might want to put a lo lot of retro roms on there a lot of movies or things of that nature so if you're doing international travel or doing a lot of moving around you can keep whole series and things of that nature and that could be a big deal for some folks having 12 gigabytes of memory instead of two is also a big jump uh, and that's going to make a big difference for how smooth things work and how well a lot of applications will work particularly now that the full google play store will be available so the one thing i haven't talked about yet is the pricing the eight gigabyte of ram 128 gigabyte of storage version is 299 dollars at retail the 12 gigabyte ram 256 gigabyte storage version is $399. So it's a bit of a premium over some competing devices, but you've got that all in one factor. Like it can just plug in right here to the side of the glasses and you're good to go. You've got it all in one place. It's got the smart features. It's got the AI features built in. It's got the hand gesture tracking and it's got future support for six degrees of freedom. So at $399, You've got the 256 gigabyte model with 12 gigabytes of RAM. At 299, the 128 gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes of RAM version. And if you act now during the Black Friday sale that's happening on Vitra.com, adding a pair of the Vitra Pro glasses is an additional 399 as opposed to 459 or even upwards of 459 if the price has gone up and down over the months since these released. I haven't had a chance to have a hands-on with the actual Pro neckband yet. I'm looking forward to being able to give a thorough review of it in the future. But if this is a piece of technology that excites you and interests you, it's available for pre-order right now. Again, go to vitcher.com. If you want more information directly about the neckband, you can go to neckband.vitcher.com. Hope this has been informative. 
I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR, AR, or watch some cool content in your glasses. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.